on IP. Um, I give a short talk really. Uh, it's very hard to get everything about patents and intellectual property into 15 minutes but I, I gave the initial stages of a guide for engineers to patents because engineers find patents very strange documents. They're hybrid legal technical documents and the legal part confuses a lot of them, you know. So. And to what extent do you see a patent as an academic publication and to what extent is it a purely commercial uh, a right to use IP? Well, well, a patent obviously isn't an academic publication, but if you're talking about measuring contribution to society, uh, most patents are at the back of them as a product or a technology which is actually implemented and put out into uh, the market and is actually used by people. So I would say the social contribution from a patent is more significant than from the vast majority of academic publications. So if I understand correctly, with a, with a patent, somebody's publishing their secrets, why would they want to do that? Well, you publish your secrets because the government then gives you rights and ownership over those secrets um, for the next 20 years. Uh, so you've got an opportunity then to, to generate uh, commercial uh, returns from that. Very good. Now, Peter, you also are here in another capacity, and that is as um, a track chair uh, and a session chair. Now, you were one of our star reviewers in the review process for ICC 2013. Tell me, what is it that motivates somebody to read papers voluntarily? Uh, and to review loads of them. Um, I, I don't know, I guess I'm a bit obsessive-compulsive. i, I got to know what, what people are doing, you know. <laughs> and what is your real passion in technology? my passion in technology. Um, well, I'm on sabbatical at the moment, so I'm taking a rest from <laughs> too much passion in technology. I've done a lot of work in digital cameras and uh, foundation technologies for image processing and smart imaging. So I guess in the last 10 years, that's been my major passion, you know. Now, Peter is also the editor of the Consumer Electronics magazine. This has proved very popular and won an award, I believe, in its first year. Um, I'm not sure we won. We were nominated for a magazine award, um, and we were up with the likes of um, oh, who's that financial crowd? Um, oh, with the TV channel. Uh, God, I, I've forgotten. CNBC? No, not CNBC. The financial um, guys. Bloomberg. Or? Bloomberg. Bloomberg. Exactly. Yeah, we were competing with Bloomberg, who had a new magazine about the Asia Pacific. Um, so uh, IEEE, the publishing guys in IEEE, were quite excited about that. You know. Well, that's quite an achievement, especially for a magazine in its very first year. So congratulations for your effort on that, Peter, and thanks again for being at the conference and your contributions towards that. Excellent. Thank you, Tom. Thank you.